microplastics can be used as, as uh, uh, fuel, I guess you'd say, for 3D printing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. The same polyethylene is commonly turned into the little beads that they'll mm -hmm. then use in the 3D printing injection molding. Yeah, awesome. a lot of plastic, especially like if well processed through extrusion, like polypropylene is a really good one as well to do the 3D printing with. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Given in again like in your wildest dreams, given large scale adoption of a really efficient technology mm -hmm. for processing mm -hmm. this stuff, like let's say that was a given mm -hmm. across America, what are some of the more um, bulk line projects or like building the materials that you think that this could be a uh, useful mm -hmm. application for? Yeah. It's Super. A, it's, yeah, it's already used in decking, um, in playgrounds and yeah, like um, outdoor wood products, outdoor you know, the plastic-sized lumber products, it's yeah. PE, yeah. same stuff. Yeah, so it, it, it can be, like, we can build houses, you can build countertops, you can build... Decks. Decks. Roads are Roads. being produced mm -hmm. using plastic you chest, sidewalks, tiles, showers, floors. Armor, everything. jackets, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so waterproof and it's going to be there. Cut, you know. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, and it's also like a changing our relationship with our stuff. So like if we decide to make another plastic thing that's a bowl, like are we going to keep that bowl? Is that a bowl that we're just throwing away or a plate that we're just throwing away? Or is it something that we're using as an everyday product? So if we do choose to do that with more plastic, it's just the fact of getting rid of our disposable mindset. I think is the biggest thing and using it for more long-term applications. Yes, thank you all so much. Thank you.